Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 6th. We made it back to Winding Stair Gap. Hi. <laughs> and got a hitch in because the buses were full, but we we're ready to be on trail. Lots of weather coming in, so we're gonna try to crush these miles to Wyoming. Ball. Made it, made it to Siler Bald, but unfortunately the weather says the blue blaze isn't happening, but I imagine it's incredible views up there. Um, 4.36 miles in, two hours, 1400 feet in elevation gain, so about seven more miles to go. We're all trying to beat the storm. But we're all feeling the weight of our packs, full food, day off, but we all had a great time in town. Those are really cool. Does anybody know what those are? whole bunch of them over here. Alright, we are climbing Waya Bald right now. And at the last road crossing, a lady was like, hey, there's trail magic up there waiting on you guys. So, we're so excited at the top of this climb. We're going to get more trail magic. Um, I, I can't really describe, like, the feeling of com like when complete strangers are truly excited and want you to succeed at something, you know? Um, sometimes in society, I think uh, we kind of, I don't know, some people in society just are looking for people to fail and such a different culture out here. Fellow hikers, um, just people in the AT community. Of course, Franklin's a big trail town, so I imagine that these people are from Franklin and just the support that you get from complete strangers that just want to do little things for you to help set you up for success. Um, I don't know. It's incredible. I work as being in the healthcare professional and being a nurse um, can be a very toxic work environment, unfortunately. And which hopefully we can change that culture. We need to, um, but I don't know. I really wish I could convey it better. Words are hard right now. I think I'm hungry, but um, yeah, it's just an incredible feeling to have complete strangers constantly doing kind things for you, cheering you on, and like genuinely wanting to see you succeed. Um, and we're only, gosh, 100 and something miles in, and it's just been extended to us so much. So, but yeah, um, got a little bit of sunshine. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt today. It's a little warmer. We do have a storm coming in, so we're all trying to book it to the shelter still. But, yep, just wanted to share that with y'all. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that is constantly doing kind things for us. Um, oh, I already forgot her name, but we got a hitch back to the trail this morning and it was super kind of her to do that and not, she wouldn't, she didn't want money from us or anything. So she just wanted to see us get out here and be able to get on trail. So. This looks a lot different. Also, trail magic was really far away. On the positive side, I'll get trail magic right before we go to shelter or to the shelter. Whew. But your girl is used to taking a rest. We didn't, I didn't realize how far the trail magic was at first. So we just kind of been pushing. Uh, 8.7 miles. 2,600 feet in elevation gain, almost five hours. 
So about a mile and a half from the Trail Magic. And then not too far to the shelter after that. Alright, going up to the tower at Wyabald. Man, I can lie, today has been hard. 3,000 feet in elevation gain, 10 miles. Yep. Still don't know where the trail magic is. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh huh. Oh, gotcha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>